Today, we are making delicious vanilla crescents, using all butter recipe. This type of Christmas treat is well known in the Czech Republic, and many families bake these delicious Christmas cookies each year. You will need 200 grams of all-purpose flour 140 grams of unsalted butter 100 grams of finely chopped walnuts and 50 grams of icing sugar for the dusting 50 grams of icing sugar and one vanilla bean pod you can download printable recipe at www.ivanathecheckcook.com to make the cookie dough we will combine all ingredients the flour the icing sugar and the butter if you haven't chopped the walnuts yet chop them with a knife or use a food processor It's easiest to use your hands to make the dough. Keep working the dough until it's nice and smooth. After a while, all ingredients will be combined nicely, and the dough will stop being crumbly. Form the dough into a nice smooth ball. Place in a bowl and cover with a lid or a plate. Refrigerate the dough for at least an hour. For best results, leave the cookie dough in the fridge overnight. Next, we will make vanilla infused sugar. This sugar will be used to coat the vanilla crescents. Ideally, this sugar should be made two days ahead. Using a sharp knife, cut through the vanilla bean pod to release its flavor and fragrance. Place the vanilla pod inside a jar with a closely fitting lid. To dust the vanilla crescents, you will need only approximately 50 grams of icing sugar, but you could place more sugar in the jar and use this sugar for baking other treats. Next, we will form the dough into crescents. Take the dough out of the fridge and leave it out for a little while to soften the dough. Cut the dough into two halves. Form the dough into a long cylinder. Then, cut this cylinder into small pieces. Roll each of the small pieces into a narrow cylinder. And finally, form a crescent. You need to be gentle as the dough is delicate. If any cracks appear when you are forming the crescent, simply press on the crack with your fingers to make the crescent smooth. Grease a baking tray with butter. If you wish, you can use baking paper instead. 
Transfer the vanilla crescent onto the baking tray. Keep forming vanilla crescents. Form the second half of the dough into vanilla crescents, using the same steps as before. Preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. This is the equivalent of 356 degrees Fahrenheit. Bake the cookies for 10 to 15 minutes. The cookies are ready when they are still light, but the bottom is nicely pink. Let the cookies cool off slightly. Place the vanilla sugar you prepared earlier into a bowl. While the cookies are still warm, dip them in the vanilla sugar one by one, coating them from all sides. It is important to do this while the cookies are still warm. If they are cold, the sugar will not stick to the surface. On the other hand, if you try to coat them too quickly, just when they come out of the oven, the sugar will melt and will create an unattractive glaze instead. Transfer the vanilla crescents onto a plate or into a box. Do not stack them up until they cool off completely. Vanilla crescents should not be placed in an airproof container, as they taste best when they absorb a little bit of moisture from the air. For example, you could keep them in a nice cardboard box lined with napkins. After about a week, they will be nicely soft, and their flavor will unfold fully.